Hello there everyone and welcome back for another mod review. Today we're going to be taking a look at the Weaving Placeable Factory version 1.2.0. File size is 19 megabytes. The price in the shop is $150,000 to lay down the uh, factory that's right in front of you there and a $90 a day maintenance fee. Now you can also buy placeable racks that cost you $100 each and have a capacity of 500 liters. Now they hold the actual fabric that the factory makes. Now the two things that you will need to get this factory up and running are wool racks and wool itself. So what we're going to do guys is we're going to discuss a few things. We're going to go over the shop and check out some of the prices. Then I'm going to come back and show you how this functions. So let's take a close up look at this. Here's where your pallets will appear. Now none of this is in English unfortunately. But there is a display here if you want to bring that up. No, I do believe the stuff stuff gestel stuff gestel is the uh, the racks and the wool is the wool. So here is the building here. This is one side. There's actually uh, a drop off here. This is for your wool, and side here is where you'll drop off your racks. Now, let's go over to the shop for a moment. And we'll check out a couple of things over there. Now, this will be under placeables. Now, don't mind the many hundreds of mods I have here, but there it is there. Webbery. They call it a Webbery. 150000 like I said, $90 a day maintenance fee. And there is your cell trigger. Now, you can put that down wherever you want. I try to get a little creative and, like, put it downtown behind a building, like, as if it was a close clothes retailer or something like that makes jeans or whatnot so obviously you will need some wool and then you'll have to come over here to the pallets and this is what threw me off at first but you need these racks here that's what they put the fabric on and uh, you, these really pay out well too so as you can tell they're a hundred dollars each they hold 500 liters of material and that's about it and I use my cargo bowl to transport these around just leave it on pallet and you should be good to go so I have two tippers I got the hick wagons over here and they're lo one's loaded up with wool and the other one's loaded up with rack so we will test this out right now so I will drop off the wool first let's kick this baby up and open it up so yeah yet another really cool placeable so there is all my wool. It took me a little bit to stockpile that, guys, but I got about uh, 15 pallets of wool there. So let's bring this around to the side, and we'll drop it off. And I'm pretty sure the wool will go in the back. Like, Sorry where I put this here. It's on the grass, so it's kind of hard to see the triggers, but they're there. They're there. Okay, let's drop this off and see what happens. Okay, it took all of that except for that one, but it just didn't hit the uh, trigger. I'll just go ahead and push that on. There we go. And we'll get this guy out of the way. And I'll pull uh, the second hick wagon around. Woo! Jackknife. Okay, we'll just leave you like that. That guy's so slippery. I might have to trade him in for something a little, uh, a little better. You can see the pallets of wool around the side there as well. Okay, so here are your racks, and your racks will go on the side of the building. Let's open up the hip wagon. And there is all the racks there. Now I bought 16 of them, that's a perfect fit for this. And you can see that I'm, uh, hold on a second, I'm on pallets there, so... Okay, so let's drop these off. Press the B button. Put it over the other side. And we'll drop them. So that took all of them. Let me hit V and pick them back up. And I'll try dropping them off again. It might not take these. I think it might be full, actually. But I'll give it a try. And drop. Oh, it took it. Okay. So that is that. We're going to use this cargo bowl to pick up the pallets. They will appear in the front there. Now, we'll go over here and take a look. Now, you've seen how much I dropped off there. So, look, that the wool is only 30% full, and this uh, my cargo bowl was pretty much filled. So, this can hold quite a bit. 
and then we got 59% of the rack. So I am just going to speed up time here a little bit, guys. And we'll see the rack appear. And slowly we'll start getting some fabric here, all kinds of different colors. You get a good price for this, too. <coughs> Excuse me. Get a red one and a gray one, I do believe. Then I always let them go until the display turns off. That's a, one hint that you need with these placeables, it's good to know, is when the uh, display turns off, it's uh, full, or you're out of something. So let's jump in our semi here, and we'll go pick that up, and we'll roll off another one. Okay. I don't want to speed up time until I get away, because I end up picking up the empty racks. Okay, speed up time again. So that is pretty cool. Then the upper rack goes on. It kind of builds the rack first and then the fabric starts going on. So that is really cool. Die Webbery. Uh, pretty, pretty nice looking building. It doesn't take a whole lot of room. You can see your reserves here on the side. And it's ready. Okay, let's jump back in. We'll just keep running these off, guys, until we get a load, and then we'll I'll take it down to the selling point and show you how that functions. So remember, your these uh, cages here are going to be under the pallet section, or I'm sorry, the seed pallets, was it? Yeah, it'll be under pallets. These racks be right at the end here. That kind of threw me off at first because I couldn't pick them up. Gonna get in there? Okay, there it goes. Okay, let me back you up just a little more. Speed up time a little bit. I do believe it's gonna print off like probably six pallets because I just tested it before this and But you get a lot for it. you wait till you see the prices you get for this guys. It's crazy. And I'll be adding this to my game for sure. Red and gray. Wait for the display to turn off. Jack down time. Jump in my cargo bowl. And pick up a pallet. Okay, time back up. don't have my flying mod on. I'll have to remedy that. So I get a little vantage point here. Yeah, I thought this was really neat. I, I like mods like this. People are so creative with this stuff. Wait for the sign to go out. There we go. The reason I do that is because if I don't slow down time, an empty rack will appear and I'll end up picking that up by accident. So, if you catch my drift, we're pretty much done here anyway, guys. See how they line up there? Pretty cool. They're in doubles. So, I have a little place picked out downtown for the, uh, for the buy point. I just like to keep it a little realistic and put it down in behind a building that looks like it would sell clothes or something. You know what I mean? much material we got left in there not much okay sign goes out time goes down oh this field's starting to grow under our feet here okay just about done crank the time back up I think we're gonna run at a wool first and then we'll go down and see how much we get for this So I thought you guys would enjoy this. I was pretty impressed when I seen it. I find they got more placeables now than they had for the other one. Like way more, way more uh, ideas. That's for sure. Okay, we're at a wall now. I don't think that's going to start up at all again. So we will make a trip down to the selling point. Now let me just look at that again, just to be sure. I'm going to crank up time just for a second. 
just to see because I doubt that's going to turn on. I think I'm at a wall and it's all gone from the side too. So okay, that's fine for now. So how many pallets? We got six pallets in there. Let's go see what we can get for this. Load up the Hickmobile and hit the road. Okay, I just have it set up over here. Okay, there we go, guys. I kind of stuck it in behind the tree there, but it was... You can't put it on any of the paved stuff, right? That's what kind of throws you off, but... Let's see what we get for this, anyway. I don't have a huge load here, but it takes a little while for this stuff to sell, actually. Let's open up the Hickmobile. And we will sell some fabric. Okay, hopefully that goes all on there pretty good. Okay, let's see what we get for this, guys. Yeah, it's an awful spot I put that. I do apologize. You can see it's being sold there. Can't grab it. Too heavy. Look at that money just rolling up. So try to take a guess at what I'm going to get here. I'll give you a hint. It was more than the meat. So I'll definitely be uh, investing in this. That's for sure. You'd think it would just sell really quick, but it doesn't. It's like you're being paid by the foot or by the yard. Beautiful, beautiful. And those numbers are rolling fast, too. It's like you're getting $2,000 a second, pretty much. Imagine if you had a whole load of this. This is only six pallets, guys. But look at the profit. Now, I have to admit, it took quite a while to run off that much wool. I bought... Uh, 200 sheep and I had to wait like probably about six in day games before I got all that wool I want to get a little stockpile before I head it down there okay here it is guys grand total do 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 look at that 365 almost 366 thousand dollars wow that was most definitely worth it holy did that ever pay off well so there you have it guys look at that price over a quarter million dollars for uh six six uh pallets full of fabric so there you have it that was the weaving placeable factory version 1.2.0 file size is 19 megabytes the price in the shop is 150,000 and a 90 dollar a day maintenance fee the racks are 100 and whole 500 liters each so guys, I hope you enjoyed today's review. If you did, maybe you could leave a like on your way out. Additional information and links will be down in the description as always. And guys, if you're new to the channel, why don't you go ahead and click on Nick right there in the middle of your screen. And I'll bring you new mod reviews every second day and Let's Plays every other day. Plus, there's my Patreon link right at the bottom there too, guys. If you would like to uh, help donate to the channel. And uh, yeah, that'd be great. I'll see you guys all in the next one. Take care.